Hey, look, when it comes to transformations, you know we got to talk about the Brad Pitt Troy transformation. You know, if you're a rich, famous Hollywood movie star and you need to get in shape for your next blockbuster, Duffy Gaver is one of your go-to guys. He's a former Navy SEAL and just, he cuts straight to the chase when it comes to getting you in the best shape of your life. Just get your fat ass off the couch and go do something. This is the guy that made Brad Pitt go, I hate you, mid-workout. So if you want to keep eating the donut, hey, that's all you. Great, have a good time with that. You're going to look like that. So he trained Brad Pitt for Troy and his mission, no big deal, was just to get him rocking a body that was fit for Greece's greatest warrior. No, I was up for it. I, you know, I hadn't worked for a couple of years and so I was, I was, I was hungry for something big. So Duffy Gaver stated that Brad Pitt's never had a problem leaning out, but the uphill battle was putting size on him. He had six months to get him in crazy shape for Troy. And Duffy Gaver said it was key that people didn't watch the movie and go, wow, I bet. I bet he benches a lot, and instead was all about building a strong body that looked the par. For that, it meant avoiding building an overly large chest and instead focus on the back and arms. When I was doing um, Brad Pitt for Troy, we talked about the male physique a lot and the Statue of David, the Statue of Hercules, that kind of thing. And what you'd find is that uh, a big chest looks really odd on a guy. It just looks like a guy that goes in benches. So if you're gonna play some Roman gladiator and you've got this big chest, the viewer comes in and goes, oh wow, he looks big, bad. he looks like he probably benches something, something. Whereas if you've got large shoulders and a sort of a small chest, like a Roman Greco wrestler, it's more believable that you just are this guy. I didn't have a day where I focused on one without the other. It was a full day of six, seven months going into it. Of fight, study, speak, Bye. So let's jump into the Brad Pitt Troy workout. The main goals were to build thick, dense muscle on the back and arms, meaning that pull downs and dumbbell rows were the go to moves, along with a bunch of bicep and tricep variations, shoulder presses, and I'm sure they got in some chest work too. You, you know that. By the end of the six month program, Brad Pitt was rowing 40 to 45 kg dumbbells. That's 88 to 100 pounds in each hand. It was grueling. It was grueling. It was, I started out like six or seven months beforehand with the sword training, the fight work and mm -hmm. hours in the gym, which is not fun. The body's an amazing machine. It is an amazing machine. If you tell it it needs to perform in these areas and you feed, the, feed it the proper fuel and it, it needs to acclimate, it will acclimate. It will get to the point where it will, you injure it, you rip it, and it will repair itself stronger because you're telling it it needs to be able to, to carry this kind of weight. And when it comes to building that Hollywood movie star physique, Duffy Gaver says, if you really want to build a good physique, my take is you need a good, thick back, decent shoulders and decent arms, and then you can worry about leaning out. It's certainly more going into it than, mm. until it becomes second nature. There's always, there's about two or three months there of struggle where you're making a severe change in your life and to, to adopt to this new kind of regime and to acclimate mm. to it is, is a bit of, shock, of a shock to the system. But after that, it becomes you know, just part of the daily routine and then it's all right. And you can bet they were getting in a bunch of old school classic moves like push-ups, pull-ups and dips to build that warrior type look. I didn't gain that much. Mm -hmm. I, I really didn't. After, mm -hmm. after a year, after it was all said and done, I probably only gained like 10 pounds. Mm -hmm. But it's more about shifting the weight, <laughs> taking it from some areas and putting it in other places. <laughs> There's a lot of work. It had to be, though, you know, it, it had to be for this one. So, I mean, it's no different than what we do normally. Um, but this one just required a lot of physicality. So it was, yeah, it was intense, unpleasant, grueling training, you know, dull diet. Well, listen, Brad, it's not a dull diet if you like chicken, broccoli, and brown rice. And when I say like, I mean literally chicken, broccoli, and brown rice. My diet, ba uh, I'm very basic about it. I'm <laughs> chicken, broccoli, brown rice. Everybody I train knows this. So let's talk that Brad Pitt Troy diet, which was... Yeah, chicken, broccoli, and brown rice. <laughs> this seems to be not only Hollywood's go-to movie star diet, this is also the Duffy Gaver trademark dish. If you want to go with the chicken, the broccoli, brown rice, and the discipline and the effort and really not f around, you're going to look like that. Duffy said the big joke was chicken, broccoli, brown rice. So much so that Brad sat down months later with some people and my name came up and they said chicken. And Brad was like, yeah, broccoli, brown rice. I don't need to go to somebody to know that a Krispy Kreme donut sucks 
and a piece of chicken is a better move. Look, I know you're going to get busy in the comments right now. So let me know, is this Brad Pitt's best transformation yet? It's a close one. It's definitely a close one between Fight Club, Snatch and Troy. So let me know your fave. And if you want to get ripped like a Hollywood movie star, you know the deal. Check out my program. Link in the description.